Many riders choose to spend the off-season chasing sun and conditioning their bodies at warm-weather training camps. However, the lure and glory of cyclocross is too much for others to resist. Every single time that I, I do a new season, I have to overview what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. So now I did two years in a row, like going almost straight out of the road season into the cyclocross season. Um, I think every year, again, I need to take an overview if it's smart to do it that way. It's really tough, not physical that tough, but especially mentally. Yeah, you, you really need to be honest to yourself if you want to do it for a longer time, how you plan it. Participating in the gruelling cyclocross season can be key to keeping that racing instinct alive ahead of the first women's world tour road race. Especially helps me in my fitness, of course. So I had so many tough races already going into the road season, which I never can make myself so hard in the training. So uh, of course I have a big benefit of that. And next to that, uh, yeah, my bike skills are improving still. <laughs> First of all, it gives you more uh, confidence, which you go more relaxed into it already. And then for sure, yeah, my reaction on a situation will be different. And yeah, I really figured out in the race that I take the corners faster and in a different line. And yeah, I know when to break or don't break. And of course, I also do sometimes make a small mistake, but you know how to react on it. Cyclocross is like, it's 45 minutes. If you miss a start, you're gone. You better go home. That's a really big, big difference then on the road because you don't need to be as sharp on the start line as in cyclocross. And of course, like today on Strade Bianchi, it was like cyclocross time, five something like that. <laughs> Brandt's fourth place finish in 2017 Strada Bianca showed why the season's opener can suit those fresh from the cyclocross season. The 2018 edition was a different story for the Sunweb rider, finishing down in 17th spot in very challenging conditions. But that hasn't dampened her spirits. It's always hard. I mean, you always want to have more, more, more. and. Uh, Yes, I ask a lot of my body. Maybe I did ask too much, but uh, still really try to listen to my body. Yeah, yeah I need to. And uh, I think the team is also really on to it. Uh, we need to fill in how we feel. And uh, yeah, they can see every single training. So they also really can manage it. Much of the course was turned to mud by the snow and rain which fell in the days preceding the race, setting up some exciting racing. It was Brand's Sunweb team that animated the race after the fifth sector, Ellen van Dijk's efforts in a small breakaway laying the foundations for the race finale. Heading into the final 25 kilometers, the testing conditions had whittled down the field to a select few, including the defending UCI Women's World Tour champion. Although the weather was reflective of cyclocross conditions, Brand and the field were unable to keep up with the power of Anna van der Bregen. Well, yeah, for me it was really like, I was smiling, I really enjoyed it. And of course it was really, really tough and, and cold. And, and I also don't maybe want it every single year like this, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I felt quite strong today. And just a pity I, I couldn't follow the best riders. But uh, yeah, looking back then, I think I did a good job already. It was Bols Dolman's Van der Bregen who adapted best to the conditions, picking up where she left off in 2017 with an impressive solo effort to claim her first win at Strada Bianca for the opening of the UCI Women's World Tour season. I just hope to be there for a long time on a high level and then there will come a race which suits me enough to, to have a good result.